The Dalai Lama knows how much I admire Darwin and indulges my wish to bring Darwin into the conversation about what motivates compassion. It can be a wish to gain the approval or admiration of others, or a wish to think better of oneself, or it can be motivated without any benefit to the self. Even then, the Dalai Lama raises the possibility of a selfish motivation. This webisode ends with my mentioning that I'll describe the possibility of an entirely different basis for acting compassionately in the next webisode. Darwin said, I have to include Darwin, a man who, this is Darwin, who has no assured and ever-present belief in the existence of a personal God or of a future existence with retribution and reward, can have for his rule of life only to follow those impulses and instances which are the strongest, which seem to him the best ones. He finds in accordance with the verdict of all the wisest men that the highest satisfaction is derived from following certain impulses, namely the social instincts. If he acts for the good of others, he will receive the approbation of his fellow men and gain the love of those with whom he lives. And this latter gain undoubtedly is the highest pleasure on this earth. What Darwin is saying is that we act for distal compassion because others will approve of us. I do not think that's what you're saying. I think if you uh, take care of some other with hoping later they uh, help you. Oh. That's selfish. That is selfish. Oh, selfish. Yes. Uh, if I do a kind of selfish lesson work and I get more good name, yes. I become more popular. Yes. All these are selfish. You put your name on the hospital. You donate the hospital oh. and it is the Dalai Lama Hospital. Because it was awesome. the yeah. oh. Oh. Yes, that's right. That's selfish. That's selfish. That's from the Buddhist viewpoint. So, from Buddhist point of view, this is known as worldly concerns. One of the worldly concerns. So, if you reject that, hmm? and clearly, much of gift giving, much of the good things that go on in the world, that save people from starving or from dying without treatment are from people who do it either to the wish that someone will do it back to them or more likely so that people will know their name and think, aren't they a wonderful person? They are the... Um, who was the biggest... Uh, it was, well, the Nobel Prize. When you think of what Nobel did, mm -hmm. It was gunpowder. Hmm. That's where he made all his money. He was on killing people. And then he gets these wonderful prizes <laughs> for people who achieve things. Okay? And he becomes famous. And people say, oh, what a wonderful person he is. Now, everybody benefits. No question. Huge benefit. So we don't want to necessarily stop him from doing that. Because that's Better that than buying fancy cars. Okay. Really? Da, da, huh? But what if that, if you reject that as the motivation for distal, not immediate, for distal, what is the motivation? Uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, sorry. Uh, I, uh, I think it's genuine uh, sense of concern of others' well-being should not involve your own kazoda. 
Ah, your own interest. Interest. Ah. Interest. Very easy. Individual, yeah. Individual. Oh. No. So, uh, <clears throat> His Holiness, says, His Holiness just started some kind of uh, question. Even from Buddhist perspective, there is what is known as the Bodhisattva's ideal, someone who uh, wishes, who wishes to, who engages in all virtuous actions such as generosity and so forth, with the object to become a Buddha yourself. And then he's also wondering if you know, this action of generosity, is it purely for others or it is mixed with personal interest, wishing to become a Buddha yourself. So then, um, Gishala, he's saying that uh, in one text, Buddhist text, there's mention that even wanting to, you should be courageous enough even to give you Buddhahood for others, even to make yourself accessible, you know, everything that is within the, within your capabilities be made accessible to others. So this is what is known as enlightenment, uh, the wishing for Buddhahood. It's not just for personal gain. I want to suggest, because what you just told me, I understand on an intellectual level, and I don't understand it at all beyond that. <laughs> so I want to offer a different explanation, which doesn't mean that the one you've given me is wrong, but I haven't come across this explanation before, and I think it's of extraordinary importance for getting global compassion. It's very simple, if it's right. I explain more about the different motivations for compassion in my ebook, Moving Towards Global Compassion, available on my website. All the previous webisodes can also be found on my website. The next webisode will appear two weeks from the date this one appeared.